YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another banger, man. We got a very, very special cigar we're smoking and reviewing today. We're gonna be doing the Davidoff Year of the Rat new release. It is scheduled to release this month, November. It is the 2020 release. Hey, y'all hang tight, stay tuned, tell you more about it. All right, so we got the Davidoff Year of the Rat 2020 release. It comes out this month, November, man. Very, very limited cigar. They come in 10, 10 count boxes. There's 10,000 10 count boxes, so there'll be 100,000 cigars released for uh, this year's release. It is a six by 52 Vitola, has an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers. I got this cigar. It was provided to me by the good people at Tinderbox of Memphis. Jeff and Lynn, they always take very, very good care of me since I've started smoking cigars. I've always dealt with Tinderbox of Memphis, man. They treat me with nothing but love, nothing but respect. So huge, huge shout out to those guys for providing this cigar for me. They're providing the cigar for the review. So, oh, before I get further into this cigar, I know y'all see the new merchandise, man. By the way, the t-shirts will be coming soon. Kind of finalizing a couple things. Shout out to the plug for helping me out. We've been designing this shirt with the main logo on it. We've been designing a couple other shirts. I'll be releasing pieces of merchandise out slowly. I appreciate you guys for the patience because I know I've been getting a lot of requests, man. People are like, oh man, when are you, when are you coming out with shirts and stuff like that? They're coming, just just kind of hang tight. Bear with me, man, but we're working. I know the demand is there, but but hang tight. So yeah, we got this this new color, man. I think it looks, looks pretty good myself. All right, now that we got the whole merchandise plug out the way, We'll finally get into the cigar review. Again, I want to give a huge shout out to Jeff and Lynn at Tinderbox Memphis. I forgot to mention, if you guys are local to the Memphis area, be sure if you're into cigars, you have to stop by Tinderbox Memphis. Bar none, they have the best humidors in the city. Or if you're not from Memphis area, if you're just frequent in the area or you're here for business or pleasure or whatever, anything like that, if you're into cigars again, make sure you stop by and see them. They always take very good care of me and everybody else. They have a humidor stock full of cigars and on top of that they're a member of the taa so they also get the taa exclusive cigars that you'll see me smoke from time to time i usually get them from jeff and lynn so again huge shout out to them we'll get into it i forgot my cutter today so we'll have to use the cigar scissors uh, another thing i forgot to mention as i was giving the breakdown of the makeup of the cigar this is not a cheap cigar people this cigar retails for 39 dollars, which most people are not going to you know spend that much amount of money on a cigar me typically i only spend that amount on padrones some davidoffs but most of the time that's usually even at my upper limit too i do know some diehard davidoff guys and they just you know they they don't care but davidoffs generally are just they're, they're not cheap cigars man it's a very very nice looking cigar too it's not really toothy at all the seams are really they're really faint. It just looks re this. This looks really, really nice. There are some small veins present, but again, this is a very, very nice looking cigar. The band is really classy. Very simple. How I like it. You guys know how I feel about gold when it accents the cigar band. Go ahead and cut this thing up and see what we got. Very light cut. As you see, I just just removed a little cap. That's it. Very good draw. Not getting a whole whole lot on it, but and to be honest, even though it's an expensive cigar, my expectations are not going to be extremely high because I don't like going into it expecting it to be stellar and just because it's expensive or just because it's a davidoff you know it doesn't perform or it doesn't taste good so i'm just gonna go into this completely blind man we'll see what we get flavors are very good out the gate which 40 dollars cigar as to be expected very faint chocolate almost and a chocolate note a little bit of an espresso like black coffee there's a little bit of a faint sweetness yet i can't really pick up on it but the flavors they're not where you could pick them out they're all blended and melted in really really well together you can definitely tell this has some aged tobacco on it it's like that baker's chocolate kind of black coffee some earth another thing i want to mention about this too so davidoff they do these year of cigars in response to the chinese new year they they've been releasing these cigars since 2012 and every year they'll do a different animal whatever year coincides with that that's what they'll release so 2020 is the year of the rat this year 2019 was the year of the pig i did not get a chance to smoke that cigar i'm sure if i could find it i'll i'll pick it up if i can uh, i'll try it out or try to get a review for you guys but uh if you guys know of anybody that has year of the pig cigars 
shoot me a DM in, at, or at my Instagram or comment down below if you know where some are. I may want to buy one or two of them just to try to review them just because I haven't had one. But so far, really good start. We'll smoke through the end of the first third. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. We'll be back in the second third, I'll let you know what we got. Man, I'm telling you guys now, I'm not advocating that everybody goes out and spends $40 every time they buy a cigar because I'm not. If this cigar performs the rest of the way like the first third has been, I'm really, really afraid of how high this cigar is gonna score. As you guys can see, burn line is straight, as straight as can be. The complexity in the first third alone has just been like a roller coaster, man. Like the earth notes that I'm getting, the espresso, like the dark coffee, the baker's chocolate and then there's like a oak wood when you do normal draws and then when i started retro hill and there's like a cedar note it's just the flavors just are all over the place man when you pay 40 dollars for an elite cigar or a premium cigar like right now this in in the strength is i would say medium but the flavors are are full bodied already medium to full leaning towards full they're they're already really strong complexity is already really high construction is already really high this is what you expect and to me that just further lets me know like it's it's really really well aged tobacco in this cigar i know it is it tastes the you can just taste the quality this is crazy man so <clears throat> i'm really intrigued and i'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of this cigar goes people that know me know i don't smoke many davidoffs but the like i love the yamasa I like the Nicaragua, I like the Escurio, like there's some other ones I like. I've never had any of the year of, this was my first um, limited edition year of, of, as a part of their lineup. I've never had any of their other ones. If it continues this way, I'll definitely every year at least buy one just to see if they're as good as this one. So I know I'm, I'm at the tail end, tail end of the first third. I just had to come back and report that to you guys. So far the cigar is doing excellent all across the board. I guess we'll get back when I get through the end of the second third let you guys know of any changes or whatnot but so far damn good cigar no complaints stay tuned man all right finishing up in the second third cigar is still performing very very well strength is still around a medium still really no no nicotine hit at all can definitely tell there's some dominican tobacco in here the the sweetness is just it's not artificial sweetness it's just a very very good sweetness this second third has been mostly dominated by like that baker's chocolate and it's it's almost like a like a hazelnut spread so picture like nutella spread but just not as intense it's just like a very faint like nutella taste very very good with a little bit of wood in the background like there's just that like oak woodness that cedar is gone even from the retro hill is still the oak wood is just is kind of dominating that uh that wood flavor but second third definitely like a nutella spread like hazelnut chocolate very very good cigar construction's been on point draw has been on point still burn line is still going very very good no complaints at all this is what you want when you spend 40 dollars on a cigar excellent 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 i will get through this last third get you guys some numbers we'll figure out if it's worth it or not so hey i'm gonna keep on smoking y'all hang tight stay tuned we'll be back in this last third just finishing up nubbing this thing out smoke is staying nice and cool flavors are good this has been one hell of a cigar i will say that let's let's go over the basics of what we got we got a six by 52 toro size cigar flavors have been very very good the last third the chocolate went away and the last third was pretty much dominated by just a nice earth and the wood you know that woodsy kind of flavor but it's been good very very good Complexity has always been just always changing. I've never, I never knew, you know, exactly what I was going to expect. This was very, very good. Davidoff did their thing with this cigar. I, you know, the only thing I would strike against it was the strength. Again, that's me personally. You guys know I like strong cigars, but complexity was through the roof. Flavors were through the roof. Overall, I'm going to give this cigar a score of a 92, a 9.2 out of 10, 92 out of 100. Still an elite cigar. If you have the disposable income to buy it, I would say buy it and try it again i know everybody's not going to be really fast to jump towards a 40 dollar cigar but i'm telling you guys if you do have you know a special occasion weddings anniversaries birthdays anything like that that you want to celebrate or if you just again got the disposable income to to pay 40 dollars for a cigar i would highly recommend this the davidoffs i've been smoking this year have been very very good even though i'm more more naturally more of a padron guy and i still would say i'm more of a padron guy but Davidoff has definitely, definitely been doing their thing. Again, I want to give a very huge shout out to Lynn and Jeff at Tinderbox Memphis. 
if you guys are in the city or if you guys are traveling make sure to stop by there they provided me with this cigar it came in great condition smoked beautifully no complaints at all this has been a very very good experience now with that being said you already know what time it is thank you guys again for commenting liking subscribing to the channel continue to do so when we get to 500 subscribers i'll be doing a huge giveaway thank you guys again for tuning in giving me the time to you know provide entertainment or whatever you see fit this fit to you again we're gonna mention that merch coming soon shout out to the plug again we're working a lot of good things in store y'all already know what time it is be driven never motivated and y'all know the name of the game relaxation and enjoyment and on that note we'll catch y'all later